Okay, so in today's Retro Bat setup guide, we are taking a look at a system which is known as Low Res NX. So a lot of you would have probably came across this folder and thought nothing else of it. So very briefly, what Low Res NX is, is a fantasy console and it's pretty much based up on the old school 8-bit programming language BASIC. So if you're very nostalgic and reminiscent for 8-bit games of the 80s, Low Res NX has plenty to offer, so check this one out. Okay, before I start today's Retro Bat and Low Res NX setup guide, just make sure to hit the notification, subscribe, and you like if you like today's video. It will keep you up to date with the latest retro emulation content that I've got, plus it helps my channel out a lot. So we're looking at a really bizarre system today, running this through Retro Bat, which is of course Low Res NX. A lot of you might be thinking, why are you doing Low Res NX? Why aren't you doing Techno Parrot or PlayStation 3? The answer is, I've done all this and it's actually in my playlist, so literally these days I'm left with these uh, obscure little systems such as this one. This one's considered as a fantasy console, and if you're into fantasy consoles, I've also done the fantasy console Love, Tick AE and Piku 8. So what we're going to do first is, let's just give you a little bit of background information for Low Res NX. So like I say, it's considered a fantasy console and it's actually running from BASIC and this is the second generation of BASIC. So for those of you out there who might have done a bit of coding back in the C64, ZX Spectrum or Amstrad or even MSX days, this will be very nostalgic. So this is predominantly 8-bit games. So if you want to do a bit of programming yourself, this is where you can grab this from and I'll leave the link in my description. Now, game-wise, uh, you can go to itch.io to grab some games. There's only actually a few on there, admittedly. But the best place to get these games from is from this website just here. And again, I'll leave the link in my description. So to download one of these games, literally just left-click on it. And if you just scroll down, you'll find a .nx file. If you just left-click on that, and if you fancy playing some NX games, it's just simply a case of going to this website and just playing it from there. So that's about it. So let's look at getting you set up then. So if we go to the retro bat shortcut then and open file location, we are going to go straight to bat GUI. As I'm always going to suggest, it's your greatest tool you've got in retro bat. And we're going to go to system list and at the top you should see system if you don't see this please 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 follow my comprehensive setup guide it's quite likely you're missing a couple of installation packages when you set up retrobat so we're going to scroll down once you can see this and hopefully you can and we are going to find low res nx and just here we are looking for dot nx extensions so just a minute ago i showed you that website and of course those games are with the dot nx file extension and we've only got one retro arch libretro core to use for this system we don't have an emulator we can download through retro but it's literally running off a of retro arch which is low res nx so for this setup guide and to give you a little bit of a glimpse what low res nx can offer i've got a few games and what i'm going to do is just go to my roms folder and we're going to find low res nx just here and for those of you looking forward to the new launch of retro bat 6 i'm hoping personally hoping that's going to be released this year and as soon as it does of course i'm going to be doing another new fully comprehensive setup guide so we're going to find low res nx and here it is so I've got a few games, like I said, and I'm going to just drag those .nx games into that ROMs folder. And then from here, we can just boot up RetroBat. Okay, so we're now inside RetroBat and you should be able to see a low res NX. And for those of you who wait for a Pinball FX2, then you're going to have to wait a little bit longer, I'm afraid. But for now, I have got a couple of virtual pinball systems in my RetroBat playlist. So, low res NX, and let's try and grab some artwork for this. So, main menu, scraper, and systems included. 
And right, okay, so it looks like we don't actually have an option for low res artwork on this, but we're gonna try and scrape this anyway. So scraper again, scrape now. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so what we're gonna do then is just literally go to view options by pressing select, advanced system options, and we're gonna have the main options just here to manipulate the visuals. So let's actually boot up a game first with default settings. So one of my favorites is Low Res Galaxy 2. So open this up. basic stuff but just bear in mind most of these games are less than 30 kilobyte in size as we know low res nx is pretty much done through basic programming so not even assembly language and the music itself is very reminiscent of the SID chip from the c64 too so we got another game here to take a look at gut runner again it's a very basic game but for those people out there that loves 8-bit games this is going to be right up your street before i start this one i'm going to go to view options advanced system options and under shaders i'm going to just check out curvature i really like this shader set and decorations we've got no official decorations for low res nx but if we want to we can just go and use this one's for example arcade 1980s let's just bunk this up and if we're going to use decorations just make sure that it's on four by three aspect ratio or just leave it to auto uh, integer scaling we're going to turn that on or just leave it to auto that's going to clean up pixelation but the point of low res nx is that nostalgic pixelated look so leave that up to you vertical sync yes i don't think there's gonna be much screen tear to be fair on these games visual rendering uh, video filters i'm gonna put something like upscale 1.5 on i'm gonna leave it at this because i've just boosted this up enough so let's go for a gut runner It's a very charming game that one so actually those visual improvements actually makes it look pretty retro to me uh, next up in the last one i got is rend the dark 2 this one's pretty cool
and that's it from my retro bat and low res nx setup guys today like i say it's very similar to other fantasy consoles that i've covered on my channel such as piku 8 tick 80 as well as the love fantasy console anyways if you like the video today make sure to hit notifications subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro bat and other emulation videos that i upload on my channel just join me i pretty much upload every day so keep in touch with the comments section and let me hear what you got to say about low res nx games i think they're pretty cool but anyways join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro